First of all, let me show you, I can just scroll around the world very uh, beautifully zooming in right in close to the action seeing all my guys, selecting them, moving them zooming out having a more of an overview of the battlefield the top right hand corner is the map of the whole world so the yellow box is the, where I am right now put that, tuck that away, all the interface is designed to tuck away and bring out as you need it uh, so let's, at the beginning of this server, sort of tutorial level, um, just to show you, it's all touch focused. So just as if you were using a mouse, I can select, select somebody and I can move them somewhere. Or I can select a whole squad. Oh, I'm just being attacked, so they're all kind of <laughs> zoning on these. Let's knock these guys out. Okay, so here, the one, two, and three, they're three different uh, units, uh, groups that I can select. Um, and in this group I've got everyone selected so I can tell them all to move wherever I want and they'll all go together. Or I can uh, deselect the unit and then if I double tap a, a tank, both tanks get selected. Or if I double tap a troop, all the troops get selected. So there's some various simple ways of uh, manipulating your groups. Um, so this green arrow is telling me to head over this way, so let's actually just select everybody and move over here. Lovely sort of 3D, 3D terrain, with all this beautiful uh, lighting on it and detail in the models, etc. Should be okay to attack these guys and get through them. So now just tell, telling me uh, Soviets are up ahead, they've captured our base, so my base is up ahead, I need to go uh, liberate it by taking these guys out. So I'm still feeling pretty confident, I've got a lot of units there, so let's uh, move them over. So you really see animations in there. So I killed those guys, now I've uh, freed my base. And it's showing me, look, there's the, the enemy base is over the other side of the map. They're preparing counter-attack, so... I need to get rid of all the enemy presence in the area. Now, at this point, we've introduced this next tab here. And this is the interface that allows you to build things. Obviously, central to Command and Conquer. Uh, gameplay. So um, I can I can click on any of these buildings I already have, and they will tell me tell me what they are. That's a, that's a construction yard. Um, that's a boot camp. So obviously I'm going to get uh, uh, I'm going to make soldiers from there. So if I can, I want to um, train up some new soldiers. I'm training up a dog here. There he is. He's training up a peacemaker. So it's a total real-time strategy. I mean, on the mobile version of Final Conquer, we had to simplify things down a bit. Um, but this, this really is um, you know, everything you'd expect um, from an, an RTS. So let's get these guys I just created to go and uh, protect me. You can hear these sound effects. <laughs> the bear's dying. <laughs> so if I want to, uh, oh, they're attacking this tower. Let's uh, let's go and go after those guys. Let's make another peacemaker. Now I can also make buildings. So um, 
But say I want to build a uh, an armor facility. So I just need to find an area of space where it's all green. Now you can see, look, the fences go up, the building starts being created in real time. Now it's available, all my vehicles can now be built. So let's go, let's build a prism tank. So I want to go and attack this guy. There we are, there's my tank. So let's just zoom out here. That's it. Put that away. Oops, sorry. Uh, right. Okay, let's, let's make another tank as well. I'm waiting. I mean, obviously, the trick in these RTSs is just to keep on being ahead of the game, building up the stuff that you need, working out your strategy. I think I'm a bit under <laughs> under defended there. <laughs> So I think you get the idea.